Hi, my name's uh, Brian Tucker. I'm a member here at First Baptist Harvester. And I just want to share an experience with uh, all of you. Um, it was about the time period here recently where I found out that I have a form of cancer. Um, I had been going to the doctor for some back pain and shoulder pain. And um, even the doctor didn't think it was much of an issue, but I kind of kept pushing him to, to do some tests. And, uh, finally, he did some tests, and uh, um, my wife, Carol, she was actually out of town when he was doing these tests. And so I was going to these tests a little bit, you know, on my own, thinking I didn't have a problem here. And I got a call from the doctor's office on a Wednesday evening, and the nurse basically said the doctor would like to, you to come in the office to review your test results. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, this, this can't be good at all. The doctor basically came in and told me he, he thought that I had a form of cancer called multiple myeloma. Um, it, it was, you know, a little bit gut-wrenching. She, uh, being the best wife in the world, immediately got on a plane to fly back from California to be with me as we went through other tests. And um, we had some hope at that time because the doctor was continuing to do tests because he wasn't sure exactly um, what it was. They did some further testing and they found out it wasn't multiple myeloma. The words the doctors started using were, were baffled and perplexed. So we had hope in that. And um, it actually came with one of the last tests the doctor did. It's called a PET scan. And um, the doctor called and um, actually said he wanted me to come pick up the results of the PET scan because we were planning to go out of town. He shared with me a little over the phone, and actually when I got those test results and read the report, the report said um, I had lesions on my bones and they were too many to count. And that was like a, you know, just being hit in the stomach as hard, you know, as you could be hit. It was a devastating blow to me. You know, I knew at that time that you know, I, this isn't a battle I can win anymore. This has to rest in God's hands. Like I said, I just found out, got confirmation that I had cancer. And um, it was very upsetting. Uh, they still didn't know what kind of cancer. There are times when, you know, basically when I'm alone with my thoughts, that um, I would start, I don't know if I necessarily blamed God, but I do know I blamed myself. How could I have been a better husband? How could I have been a better father to my kids? I realized God's in, still in control. You know, and I had to have somebody like my wife there to walk along my side. I've got prayers of hundreds of people, you know, from across the nation. Because it's more than a physical battle, it's a spiritual battle. I may not win the physical battle, but the spiritual battle is already won. And I have faith that I'm gonna win the spiritual, the physical battle too. God tells us we can ask for more time. And I feel like I'm on earth to accomplish some things that he still wants me to accomplish. So in faith, I'm asking him to give me that time. We just started uh, um, going through uh, our chemotherapy. You know, one of the things that has been helpful to me as a man is, you know, my wife has been through this already. She was diagnosed with breast cancer a couple of years back. She's just a true warrior, um, inspirational to me. One of the other things that you know, I'm doing a lot more of is, is spending time in prayer um, with, with um, Him. God has a purpose in all of this. I don't know what it's going to be. We, we haven't had a lot of dialogue with the doctors on times and how much time we've left. And I think that's good because I've got all the time that my Creator wants me to have. And I'm not going to argue with that. Like I said, I'm going to ask Him to give me as much time as He desires me to have on this earth you know, to accomplish the mission that he's given to me. And I'm asking him, Lord, direct me in that mission, um, whatever it needs to be.